this is a Kia Sedona 2006. And the same for 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 13. Um, I'm just going to show how to take apart this dash. I've already taken it apart just to quickly show. Um, there are other videos as well you can see on YouTube doing the same thing. All you do is first pry this part out. There's no screws anywhere, so it basically, you just, you know, put your hand right in here, grab it, pull it out. Six clips later, just comes off. Then take this connector out of it, the wiring connector, there's only one. So that comes right off. And then it's a little tricky. You have two screws here that needs to come off. And once you take those two screws out, uh, it's basically just prying this side and this side off. There's no screws after that. So you just wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. There's no screw on the top. So you just pry the whole thing out and it comes right off. After that, the stereo is filled with four screws and you take that off. All right, after taking apart um, those four screws, I decided to take apart um, this uh, climate control unit as well as just four more screws on uh, both sides. It just comes right off. You don't even have to detach it. There's a bunch of uh, wires going to that. Anyway, I took the factory studio out and I'm putting in the Sony unit that we are looking at. And all it needs is basically taking this harness that we wired up and one side goes to the car factory harness and the other side goes into the system right in the back and like we saw i hooked up all the wires the way it should the car has this antenna uh, cable that will be plugged right into the unit's back right up here Let me just flip it so you can see yep so the antenna will be plugged in here it's also a power antenna uh, it does need Power. Some cars have passive antennas. This is a powered antenna, so it does need a power. The way we do it is uh, you take the power antenna, blue, solid blue line, and hook it up to the amp turn on in this case. Some units will give a dedicated wire for that. In this case, the Sony unit didn't give a dedicated um, power um, antenna wire, so it gets hooked up with the amp turn on wire. So all three in one there. So there was a ground here. Uh, I just hooked the green wire to it. That's the bypass for parking brake. Normally you hook it up to the parking brake itself. So you can watch DVDs uh, while the parking brake is on. But in this case, I'm going to just put a monitor in the back. So I want it to run while the car is running. So that's why I'm grounding that. Other than that, everything else seems fine. Here's the Bluetooth uh, microphone. Um, it's plugged in. Everything is routed, you know, through here. It looks like a mess now, but you know, once you put it back, it's all it'll all look neat. The three wires I had to run are right here. Um, this this is one wire, uh, which is the rear view camera video signal input. So it comes all the way, um, you know, it runs in here, down here, underneath, right here, and goes down uh, on the side and follows the path all the way to the back of the car and goes into the, uh, you know, rear hatch and the camera is on the license plate. So that's, that wire goes all the way from here to there. So it, I would say 25 foot long because you need to go up into the hatch's hinge and come down to the hatch all the way to the license plate. So that's what that RCA video cable is for. And that's one wire I ran. And two more wires I did run is uh, this white wire. This comes from the reverse light and it gets hooked up, uh, if you notice, to this reverse in. All it does is, like we discussed in the previous video, it changes the source. As soon as the reverse light comes on, the source of the video monitor changes to the rear view camera's uh, input. So it displays that uh, signal that comes from here. So that wire also runs all the way along with this wire. They both go together all the way. 
I do have one more white wire you'll see right down here and that one is right I ran it all the way here and attached it to the cigarette lighter positive because that gives an ACC signal all I'm doing is uh, taking that ACC signal uh, accessory 12 volt power supply from from the cigarette lighter taking it all the way back to the rear view camera to power the camera itself that way I could actually see what's going on behind me while driving because you know it gets the power this unit has a capability to turn on while I'm driving the car to see what's going on in the back so instead of hooking up to the reverse light I'm hooking it up to the cigarette lighter in this case so that's it guys for all the dirty wiring behind the dash I'm gonna put it all back together and we'll see how it works all right so I put everything I pushed all the wiring in the back and uh, one thing to mention here is see this bracket here um, that comes um, specific to make and model so if you this bracket is specifically made to go on Kia and Hyundai vehicles it'll come free with your crutch field order or you can buy it uh, in Amazon for about 10 bucks and each vehicle have its own type of brackets in this one you know it's just a couple of plastic here and here and then there's a frame that comes in front of it to fill the gaps when you put everything back together so that kind of mimics the um, OEM bracket but the OEM had a metal one this is plastic doesn't matter it fits well so all I have to do now is uh, make sure I screw these in the right spots the same way the old one came out you do have to put a couple of screws to hold the plastic bracket to the unit itself on both sides so that's how it looks at this point fits well I'm gonna start putting everything back together and see how it looks uh, when it's all finished okay the final step is to put this trim back in so, and you can push the shifter down to make it easier but really not necessary doesn't have any screws so it just goes right back in there and line it up with those little tabs and it's all clicking after that all right that's it so now we have a really nice looking dash just making sure everything lined up right on the top up here there the panel needed a little there click click okay I'm just gonna leave the microphone there for now I might stick it down here later so there you go everything is in uh, one piece now it's all hooked up so let me just start the car see it's powering up with the Sony logo and there's a home button I don't know if you can see it might take a time to focus there so it's got the tuner iPod disk Pandora rear camera Bluetooth phone aux and settings so under tuner um, the usual radio, I have a preset on it. So that works good. And um, just put it on aux, that works. So on top of that, um, this DVD function is there. So I have a DVD in there. all right so that works Pandora needs the app to work and Bluetooth uh, the phone is hooked up and you, you also have a phone feature where you can actually um, it syncs with your phone for recent calls 
you can make a call using phone book or you can just call saying you know call somebody and it'll recognize the voice to call all right that's for the phone and um, the one important thing I want to run through is the rear camera so technically if I put this in reverse it should kick in I don't have a camera hooked up at this point but you can see that you know it just flipped the source that's because we hooked up that rear reverse light to the unit up here so that's what is flipping it on the other hand if I put it in drive uh, nothing happens but I still have the option to click rear camera and it still shows me the rear camera even though it's on drive that's because I'm powering the camera with the ACC that's the wire we saw running from the cigarette lighter all the way to the camera so it works as it was intended to be so I'm plenty happy with this I'll hook up the rear view camera and give you a demo on that so so far so good